So far, we've been using Audition as a way to record, edit, and improve single audio file recordings. Adobe Audition goes so far beyond that with multi-track workflows. Using multi-track, we can stagger, produce, arrange, and mix a full audio composition from multiple tracks. Let's have a quick overview of the multi-track experience. All right, so to get started, we've been working in Waveform Editor. We're gonna switch over to Multi-Track Editor by just clicking this button right here. This will create a new multi-track session for us, and we can give it a name. I'm gonna simply name this Podcast. We can save it in a specific location and apply a template if we want to. So there are a couple of templates here. Um, this is fine. We're just going to choose none. It's going to add in some default tracks for us. And then sample rate, 4800 is fine. I'm going to go to 16 bit depth and stereo. So this is going to depend on the audio tracks that you record and what you think you need to use. I'm going to go ahead now and hit OK. And you can see a couple of things have happened here. Inside of our files panel, we have an SESX file, which is a session file inside of Audition. Now you can always create a new session file by clicking new file up here and choosing new multi-track session as well. Since we didn't have one created, when we click multi-track, it's going to prompt us to create one as you just saw. Now over here, we've got a bunch of different tracks. You can see we have track one, all the way down to track six. And then we also have a master track. So if you look here, we have effects chosen right now, but we can also choose to view the inputs and outputs. So if I switch over to that, you can see that each one of these outputs for these different tracks are all routing through the master. This is important to know because if you go ahead and add in a bunch of different mastering effects to your master, then all of the tracks will run through there and it will apply to all the tracks. We'll have a look at that later on. For now, we're gonna remove everything except for three tracks. So here's track six. Let's choose multi-track, tracks. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to delete the selected track. We're going to do the same thing to track five, multi-track, tracks, and delete, and track four as well, because we only need three tracks. We've got three pieces of audio we're going to use, multi-track, tracks, and delete selected track. All right. So now we've got track one, track two, and track three, and then again, our master track here. So the thing about master track as well is that audio files do not go into the master track. We only load them up in these regular stereo tracks here. 